Good afternoon. Uh, first of all, uh, I would suggest that uh, there is no such media outlet as opposition because media, if it is free and independent, should also always be in the opposition. So I would distinguish this is free media and pro somebody, pro government or pro any party media. To describe the situation in Georgia today, we have to go back a little bit further for five, five and a half years ago when there was a rose revolution, bloodless revolution, hopefully and thankfully. And current President Saakashvili came to power. There were high expectations for his leadership. This was a young man, young team around him, all committed, as they assured us, to the Western values, democracy. And this was a very challenging times. They received support of more than 90, 90 percent of the population. Unfortunately, what is the situation today? For instance, for nearly one month and a half already, there are demonstrations and rallies in front of the parliament in the center of the capital, Tbilisi. These are organized by the opposition parties and the situation is really very unpleasant. However, it is a big challenge when you have a support of more than 90% of the population and just in five years you have huge rallies against your governance. The signals for that unfortunately started as soon as he, President Saakashvili was elected as a president. Just in a month from the elections, he introduced very, I should say, controversial amendments in the Constitution, increasing the power of the president and coming all, all, almost to the dictatorship. Okay, he is himself Western-oriented, as he claims, and he cannot abuse the powers, but what about somebody who will come after him? How can we guarantee that this abuse of the power would not appear? Uh, already since he was elected, he started to ignore opposition, opposition idea, ideas and even suggested at some extent that he doesn't want opposition at all in the parliament. His administration started abusing uh, freedom of press, freedom of media. The culmination was on November 7, 2007, when the independent TV station was raided by the special police squad the journalists were put on the floor, the rifles were put at their heads, the facilities, technical facilities were destroyed, and already more than one year has passed, and no investigation was carried out, as it is still condemned by international community and by the opposition and the population. But we don't know the names who performed this brutal action, and we don't know the names of the people who ordered to, the, to carry out this punitive act. What's the situation today? Uh, printed media hopefully, so far exercises more freedom. Because of different reasons, because I think the printed media does not really has much influence to influence uh, 
public opinion, whereas TV stations, the countrywide TV stations are controlled by the government and therefore they are all transmitting the news which are pleasing to the ruling administration. There are only two small stations which are covering only the capital of Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia, Tbilisi. But as for the regions, they receive information from the TV stations, which are three or four of them and which are absolutely controlled by the state administration. The pressure which is exercised by the free media is of different type. There is uh, luckily not direct abuse like I've heard from my Azerbaijani colleagues or Armenian colleagues, but uh, the pressure is exercised in a very sophisticated way. For instance, the advertisers are warned not to advertise with the free media outlets or journalists are intermediated, blackmailed, sometimes bribed, offered better jobs. And this, of course, creates very unpleasant situation in the media sphere. Opposition itself also is not very consistent. Sometimes it also makes some mistakes. For instance, recently one of the leaders of the opposition parties refused to give answers to the questions from certain TV stations, which is also wrong. There were cases of abusing journalists during the elections. Last year we had two elections, presidential election and parliamentary election. Public broadcaster, which is supposed to be public broadcaster and not a state broadcaster, in fact is practically a state broadcaster. Well, we can further proceed, but I think we are short of time, so I would, I'd rather stop here. Thank you.